Chemoradiation is really our standard approach in patients with locally advanced non-small cell lung cancer. And again, this is generally a good prognosis population. These are patients with intact performance status, uh, with less than 5 to 10 percent uh, weight loss from uh, baseline. Uh, if their disease is unresectable, uh, concurrent, simultaneous radiation with uh, chemotherapy, and we have a couple of options, either etoposide platin or paclitaxel carboplatin, uh, has really emerged as the standard uh, therape therapeutic approach in uh, North America. Uh, there have been a number of trials looking at both induction and consolidation grafted on to uh, concurrent chemoradiation, and unfortunately, none of these trials have proved positive. So it, it's counterintuitive, and the adjuvant setting will generally give four cycles of systemically dosed uh, chemotherapy, but in the locally advanced setting, uh, where presumably the disease burden is worse, we have yet to prove that four or more cycles is better than two. Uh, by the same token, we have yet to show uh, in 2012 that any targeted agent grafted onto uh, chemoradiation can really offer a survival advantage. Uh, bevacizumab uh, result in untoward toxicity, including pulmonary hemorrhage and uh, tracheoesophageal fistula. Uh, the TKIs can be given safely uh, with chemoradiation, but uh, uh, the one trial that actually assessed uh, the role of uh, EGFR TKI, in this case gefitinib, as maintenance after chemoradiation was flat out negative. In fact, it was a survival decrement. And we're still waiting for the um, uh, MUC1 vaccine data and for uh, data looking at the uh, EGFR antibody uh, cetuximab.